There are many everyday items that we use and buy and don't give much thought to. We see everybody else using them and we're compelled to do the same. However, they're actually pretty easy to stop using and cut out of your budget. Let's go. Probably one of the biggest is single-use water bottles. Now you see them in the office or around school, you don't think much about using them and then throwing them away. But in reality, it virtually costs nothing and it takes no effort to refill a reusable water bottle. You can customize it, get it in a certain color, put a lot of stickers on it and make it your own. And then also most refrigerators these days have a feature to refill your water bottle, either on the outside or in the inside. And most schools, office spaces and gyms actually have re water bottle refilling stations. It's usually a water fountain and there's a back feature where you can just put your bottle and it fills it in 10 seconds, right? So it's better for the environment, it's cheaper, it's cleaner. And then also, if you want sparkling water, you can always just get a soda stream. One that many people didn't even consider an option was expired medicine. Now, there was a study done by the US military some time ago on to see whether or not expiration dates on medicine was actually valid. Now you have to understand that the US military spends millions if not billions of dollars a year on medicine or at least replacing medicine for our troops. And if they could determine that medicine lasted longer than the expiration date, then that could save taxpayers a lot of money. Now, some argue that the dates are put there to force consumers to buy more medicine at a quicker pace, or it's there to show consumers when the medicine is most potent. However, the study actually showed that of the medicine that was tested, a large portion of it actually was still potent after the expiration date. Now, I'm not suggesting you pop a pill from 1987 or something, but if it's a month or a few months old, it might still be effective. Now please, this is a decision that needs to be made on your own. I'm merely bringing this to your attention. I'll be adding some documents down in the description down below, but please do your own research and come to your own conclusion. Another one is pre-cut or individually packaged food. Now there are entire aisles in a grocery store dedicated to these types of foods, you know, fruits, vegetables, cheeses, meats, right? All of these things that are pre-cut and ready for you. And yeah, it's quicker but it actually can cost significantly more in comparison if you just bought a loaf of bread or a block of cheese. As you can see, prices can be a lot more just because the vendor did an extra 30 seconds of work. A two pound block of cheese costs you 23 cents an ounce, but when it's sliced for you, it's 26 and a half cents per ounce. What's more, name brands can even double that, costing 46 and a half cents per ounce. Not to mention all the excessive plastic can be pretty bad for the environment. So take the time to do it yourself and your grocery bill should go down. Something to note, this does not apply to everybody as there are individuals out there with physical disabilities or are simply just too old and prepackaged and sliced foods make their lives a lot easier. Late fees are another issue that can be avoided. Whether it's your utility bill or credit card statement, they can sneak up on you and cost you. Now in the past, credit card late fees could be excessive and cost you 25 to 50 dollars each time but just this year the consumer financial protection bureau has actually capped late fees at eight dollars for credit cards now you may be saying evan who cares it's eight dollars it's not the end of the world it's a couple bucks and yeah it's a couple bucks but it's a couple bucks that you worked hard towards earning and wouldn't you rather save it instead of just losing it unnecessarily to a late fee that you could have avoided Another aspect you may not have thought of about late fees is that it can affect your credit, which can have far more reaching effects. So set timers, set automatic payments, and write it down in your calendars. You have tons of resources at your disposal to make sure that you never have a late payment again. Non-rechargeable batteries is another big one because actually batteries can be pretty expensive. So the next time you go to the store, check it out. You'll be surprised. But yeah, anyway, so while filming these videos, I went through batteries hand over fist because every single piece of my equipment needed batteries. And when I was talking to my friend about it, he said, just get rechargeable batteries. And I was like, oh yeah, that's pretty smart. So I did some research and then I actually bought a couple batteries. I have, I don't know, two dozen of each AAA and AA. That's not all of them. They're down there somewhere. Uh, but yeah, I use them every single film session and after I'm done, I just plug them in the wall and charge them and they're great. They're ready for next time. And yeah, they may char cost the same, you know, initially buying them compared to non-rechargeable batteries, but I'll get, I don't know, a couple dozen, if not hundreds of uses out of these batteries over the course of their lifetime. So it's better cost effective towards me and it's also just better for the environment. So it's a win-win. Saving can be hard, but it's not impossible. By making small conscious decisions, you can change your life in pretty drastic ways. 
So keep at it, and at some point you'll thank yourself for starting. So with that, I'm Evan, and thanks for watching. If you like what you just saw, then click on the video here. Also, if you haven't, like, subscribe, and hit the bell icon so you don't miss any future videos.